Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So for those of you that have been following my channel, um, you know I released this motor, this kit motor. Uh, it's a Bedini Simple School Girl motor. And uh, I've made some updates for it this, this last week here. And those of you that aren't familiar with it, um, it says eight magnets on the rotor. It has just a single Bedini circuit. Uh, we have on and off, and then we also have um, a switch that changes from SG mode to generator mode, which gives you quite a bit more charging, uh, about 25 to 30 percent more charging. And um, we have the coil. This is um, 400 turns of number 20 and 26, and um, this is all ceramic bearings, uh, eight millimeter shaft. And so what I changed on it, and uh, this fan comes with it too, by the way, and you get the pot. Um, so I made some updates on it. The first change uh, for the update and option is this coil. This is 450 turns of three number 26s. So this one's going to use um, a little bit less power. And then you have 32 uh, welding rods in there, all mild steel. Uh, this is the, the original that's in this one. So you could get either one or both. Um, I'm selling actually this new circuit and this together. So those of you that have this motor already, if you want to upgrade to do more uh, experiments, you could get these two for it. Um, this original one was just 3 8 mild steel. There's two rods in there. And so the new circuit is accommodating the extra wire. So we still have uh, the SG generator mode on and off switch and um, now we have a thousand volt 10 amp full bridge rectifier for that third wire and it's completely isolated so you can do pretty much whatever you want so still have two different outputs now which is really cool so move these out of the way so right now I have it hooked up on the secondary output which is isolated and it goes through a cap dump and then it goes back to the primary battery and um, you can only do this if you have that third wire that's isolated because the circuit is is not mechanically connected um, to this wire so it's completely independent of the two primary wires so it comes through here and then goes back to here so just to start it up just give it a little little kick and she goes off so you have your pot and you have quite a bit of adjustment on here. Um, the kit comes with the light, but I'm using a 220 resistor instead for this experiment. And uh, so here's our input power, just a hair over uh, 150 milliamps. So it'll go up to about 200 milliamps. And then this is our out output back to the primary battery. So we're about 600 milliamps at 14 and a half volts, uh, pulsing back to the battery. Which is really cool because if you don't want to charge something, you just want to sit on one battery and let it run, um, you could do this. And it's just going to, the battery kind of settles out and then it goes up and down with the charge. So it'll run, you know, a long, long time like this, which is really neat. So there's a lot of um, strange things with the circuit. So if you have a battery and you're running the secondary, right now and you hook it up to a battery to charge so this is on generator mode right now as soon as you hook this up um, your battery's going to start charging and now you have none here the only thing that comes out right now is about 5 volt square wave so the high voltage spike went from this side to this side it's a little bit lower resistance than charging the capacitor so as you can see it's charging up so while it's charging that if we disconnect these speed connectors these new speed connectors are tight so we could hook up this light bulb this is a 6 watt LED I've used on a lot of my videos and um, this is our independent secondary output. So as we're charging, that five volts will run some LEDs, which is really neat. So you can see this 
doesn't really change anything. Still charges. So this is pretty much your, your free energy right here, the square wave. You get this while you're charging and running the motor. So it's pretty neat. So what we'll do, let's get this back hooked up. So the gen mode works really good for charging batteries. We're, we're using 200 milliamps. And uh, this is a 3.3 .3 amp hour battery. And um, yeah, if you go to SG mode, your your charging rate goes way down. But um, but you can see this battery kind of dipped a little bit. So as soon as we move this, let's take these off. So we disconnect this. Now this is coming back. So if you watch the battery, the battery will start gaining charge now because we're pulsing it back into it. So it starts coming back up, which is pretty neat. So there's a lot of different things you could do. You could put transformers on, on primary or secondary. But what I want to do now is let's shut this down. So we were basically we're running at about 150 to 200 milliamps right now, and um, just in the pot we could bring it down or up more power this is more resistant so if you look at it on the scope as you bring the resistance lower so you use a lot more power you get more speed the spikes start changing then you just dial up more resistance you get it where you want it so right there is about 150 milliamps so turn this off what I want to do is put on a much bigger prop that a normal motor would would use a lot of power to turn so let's get this on here all right so let's turn this back on we're still hooked up and do the loop there so we'll just give this a little kick and then we'll turn this down a little bit get it started and you could just dial this back so so now we got this big monster turning but it's really neat because we're 80 milliamps right now and we're still pulsing back to the battery so if you did this with a the regular motor you'd be pulling a lot of power out so these circuits are really neat like that so yeah there you go 80 milliamps and we're still pulsing back to the battery here's your scope shot so it's broken down into four pulses per magnet so we have eight magnets so we're 32 pulses per revolution right now and then the the cap dump is converting that into amperage so 14 and a half volts at about a half an amp to 600 milliamps and um, yeah that lets you run this battery a long time so pretty neat so if you guys have any other questions uh, just leave them in the comments Thanks for watching.